as dental hygiene educators, how do we become involved in our students' education in the clinic instead of them perceiving invasive? Like, you want to have the student feel like they're, you're there to support, give them a little bit of bandwidth to try their skills, but also never feel abandoned, right? How do we do that? Right. Oh, that's the stuff out of the day. <laughs> I, I honestly just find, as a clinical instructor, I always find that students, they don't know that they don't know that. Like, they, so I always, as a the clinical instructor, try to go up to them and just be like, let me watch you for a second. Do we need anything? And they'll usually come up with like three or four questions. And then they don't feel abandoned. And then they're not like, hey, please help me with this, because they don't even know that they're doing it wrong. Yeah. You know, they're, yeah. they, I just watch them and I'm like, I can tweak two or three things and give a little learning experience in five minutes and then I'm the hero and then they're doing it better. I like that. I'm so going to watch you. Proactive. Bit. One thing with that, I say, I'm going, I'm going to come back in about five minutes. I'm going to think of three questions you have or one question about what you're doing or whatever they're doing. Like a question that you have about adaptation or a question that you have about calculus removal on a case type, whatever or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm, I think just maybe like being open up front, up front before even the clinic day starts and be like, what are you struggling with? What do you need help with? Do you want me to help you? Do you want to do this on your own today? Be having those conversations even before the patient comes. Yeah, be to helpful. help them like self-assess. Yeah, be like, I want to help you, but 